time to respect Jimmy G and the Niners as the NFC's best. That's kind of a rhetorical question. I'm about to say, you're talking to yourself. <laughs> you're the only one up here not <laughs> respecting Jimmy G, so let's hear it. We- I'm, not, I'm not all in. You're still not oh, all in? Oh. Good Lord. Oh, what does no, he no, have no, to no. do? Well, be, first of all, huh? he threw an interception, and oh. everybody's blaming on the receiver. I consider that a 50-50. It was a bad ball. Mm. Uh, and then the, mm. more than anything, more than just Jimmy G and, and, keep in mind, and the Niners are the best, the, the defense, I, I was embarrassed. I, I, that yeah, defensive yeah. performance raised some red flags for me. I didn't think mm. anybody could do that to their defense, mm. not even New Orleans in that building. So if I'm Sean Payton and the Saints, and I sit there and go, well, I'd love to see these guys again, any play, anytime, anywhere. Oh, good. All right, good. So for all you guys watching this at home and on YouTube, I wanted to make sure that this question, that bottom bar came with your face, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I've been in on Jimmy G, man. This dude has lost two games this year late. Field goals to the Ravens and Seahawks, top teams. So I don't understand where the sentiment comes from that Jimmy G is not one of the best out there in terms of leading his team to victory. Let's talk about the defense yesterday. Uh, That defense looked porous yesterday, number two ranked defense. And I remember just a couple weeks ago, the number one ranked defense in the Patriots looked porous against the Baltimore Ravens. That's why I always tell you, Willock, you said defense wins championships. That's when you were growing up. Now, <laughs> offense Man. wins championships. I don't care how great a defense you're on. I've been on a number one ranked defense. I don't have a Super Bowl ring because defense doesn't necessarily win championships. You go out there one game and hold a team to 13 points, but if your offense doesn't show up, you have problems. This offense shows up. It's well-rounded. Jimmy G is maturing as the season goes on. Second year coming off of injuries and then the ACL of last year, you're starting to see him feel more confident and more comfortable in this system. And I think this team is going to be there at the end. Mm. The, the reason you respect them is they're a complete team. They're one of the top teams defensively yeah. and offensively. And so that's why you have to respect them and say, man, they are real true Super Bowl contenders. Second-ranked offense, I mean, second-ranked defense, third-ranked offense. That's a complete team. And then you throw in... Since Emmanuel Sanders was been traded, they've been almost unstoppable. When he goes down with an injury, they play ball control offense. When you got him, Kittle, and Jimmy G in that offense, the way they're playing, and it looks like Kendrick Bourne now, he just mm, put, he's mm. almost like the new age Chris Carter. Just put him in the red zone, and all he's doing is catching touchdowns. And, and so, for me, Jim, he, the game they lost against the Ravens, he didn't play well. He threw for 165 yards. But the Ravens are doing that to everybody. Yeah. To go in New Orleans, and we've played. Man, you play in New Orleans with that crowd noise and you put up 48 points, yeah. I don't care who you are. You're doing something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget about Debo Samuel, too, the rookie. I mean, they, they are loaded. They got offense, defense, special teams. They do it all well. My biggest thing is Kyle Shanahan. He's the one behind all this. Be, you saw what he did with Matt Ryan a couple years ago, MVP. Oh. Since he's rookie left, of the year, RG3. Rookie of the year. I'm Kyle Shannon, the plays that they were calling. Tell me you weren't impressed by that. I, and I'm giving credit to Jimmy G. I've always liked Jimmy G. Yeah. But you throw Kyle Shanahan into that mix and that offense, they're keeping everybody off balance. They're giving it, they're doing double reverse passes, a fullback option from UCF or whatever. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what, what is going on here? This is this is fun. I think for sure, and don't get me wrong, the Saints look awfully damn good too. Yep. I mean, putting up that many points against that San Francisco defense, I didn't think that would happen. I didn't see that. This is the best game I've seen in a long time. Uh, in the rematch, I, who, who's going to win that game? But Jimmy G right now, him and Kyle Shanahan, it's that, it's that, look. that, Starsky and Hutch. It's a I great don't, match. Mm. I don't want to be known as Jimmy G's number one hater, it's but if coming. that's the life I got to live, it's I'm going to live it. It's because coming. you know what he is? He's pretty Matt Ryan. If Matt Ryan had movie star looks, he would be Jimmy G. Mm. And for several years, I sat here and argued with Colin Cowherd about Matt Ryan. I was sold on him. Cowherd wasn't. Cowherd would be, man, it's Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shan- and I can remember a few years ago in Atlanta, Kyle Shanahan was over here calling plays, and it looked like Jim Brown and O.J. Simpson were both in the backfield. Jerry Rice was one wide receiver. Yeah. Chris Carter was the other <laughs> wide receiver. Right Tony Gonzalez and Antonio Gates were the tight ends. Mm. And it's just like, Kyle Shanahan made everybody look like, oh, my God. And then Kyle Shanahan went away, mm. and, and Julio's been starving ever well, since. Well, Kyle Shanahan <laughs> ain't going nowhere now. They stuck. Well, yeah. I- I get it, but th- that's why I'm just not totally convinced about Jimmy G 
Kyle Shanahan makes everybody look good. Hell, I wish, if if he sat next to me instead of you, TJ, I probably look hundred pounds lighter. Uh, <laughs> it's just, I, 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 so it's a good marriage. Then that's what, what, what makes marriages what, work, right? What, what happened when they got to the Super Bowl, and 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 Matt Ryan, they had a big lead and they fell off a cliff and mm. they called some stupid plays and let the Patriots back in it. That's I'm just not convinced on Jimmy G. I, I am convinced on Kyle Shanahan. Well, you know what? It's interesting. Look, Kyle Shanahan had that forgettable moment in moments in, in, in the Super Bowl, obviously. The play calling ladder game yeah. was was atrocious. Jimmy G has had his moments where you're like, you have to grow up, you have to mature. But both of them have shown you they have the DNA of success in terms of what he's done. Kyle Shanahan's record up to this point and the different quarterbacks he's touched to success. And then Jimmy G. The biggest vote of confidence ever is Bill Belichick wanted you over Tom Brady. Like, mm. I, look, and, and it took it took a triple team for Jimmy G to finally have to leave. Like, Tom Brady is sitting there with his agent, who is Jimmy G's agent, who works with Bob Kraft, and they said, this is the only way we're going to beat Belichick at this one because we know what Belichick's succession plan is. Jimmy G! And now he's there with Kyle Shanahan. Instead of, like, combining that energy and success – we still want to poke at Jimmy G when the numbers suggest differently. Look at the wins. I, listen, some guys are just who they are. And, and I, I thought about this this weekend with Jameis Winston. Mm. Jameis Winston, man, a lot of times like, wow. Mm. But there's just something in him that he's going to do incredibly stupid things in his personal life and on the football field that are going to bite him in the rear end. Some guys are just built that way mentally. Jimmy G's not Jameis Winston. I'm not saying that. But he's loose with the football, and I just think we're going to be sitting here at some point in the NFL playoffs going, damn, them three turnovers Jimmy G But shouldn't you be judged by your results? Oh, hello. You should be judged by what you put out there. And his result has been spectacular. It's a confidence to him. We we go back to when he took the young lady out to dinner and he – I mean, you got to be very confident to do that. Right. Why not? Very confident. So he's confident in that aspect. You know that transfers onto the field. And as a player, we all want to play with players that are, with other guys that are confident. And so when you do that type of stuff, judging by his results, and so far his results have been spectacular. Seventeen and four with the 49ers. Results. Dog. That's like that's historical in terms of win percentage. Marino, Big Ben, Kurt Warner, future Hall of Famers. All that type of win percentage. He's top 10 in all the categories right now. Top five in some major ones, completion percentage, passing touchdowns. Better get on board with Jimmy G, man. I, I, TJ, I do like your point. So the, the level of confidence it takes. You know what? I'm going with this porn star out on the town. There, there is a level of confidence to that. But we'll see. I think he's going he's gonna to make a mistake. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.